Hey there, friends! Welcome back to some more Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. And when we last left off, Gabriel decided to do a whole bunch of stuff and then make his way into one of the voodoo ritual hound for get-togethers, you know, where they have tea and crumpets and all that good stuff. And he found out that Malia is actually Titalo! <gasps> Gasp! And she's like the voodoo queen lady! <gasps> Gasp! And then, you know, she tried to kill him because he's the descendant of the one guy who fell in love with the one lady who, you know, all that good stuff. But then he got, then he passed out and he woke up at home where we found out Grace saved him. And now we have to go and do more things, which we will do right now. One of those things is we need to make a phony, phony phone call. A phone call to the heavens. Didn't Grice say you had to dial 011 first to get international? Yep. We need to call Mr. Uh, Uncle uh, 4909 Tree to foe. Tree, 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 tree. There's a tree there. We're calling it again. There's gonna be a lot of things to discuss Guten in this Tag. episode. Sie haben this is Gabriel Knight. Can I speak to Wolfgang, please? Yeah, Herr Knight. Ein Moment, bitte. Gabriel, it's so good to hear your voice. I had such a dream last night. There's a good reason for that, Uncle Wolfgang. We need to talk. Gabriel fills in Wolfgang on the events of the previous evening. It's even worse than I thought. We have to talk about what I should do. So we're going to talk to guy who's on Cops or one of those uh, wanted TV shows or whatever. He's going to be like, you know, stuff like that. So we're gonna we're gonna discuss a whole bunch of stuff. Mostly the stuff most pertinent to what's going on, like you know, we need to ask him about Nalans. But we're gonna ask him about voodoo. What can you tell me about voodoo? My library contains many books on the occult and religions, and I have read about some particularly evil voodoo and cults. But you, at this point, have more direct experience than I. Okay, so he doesn't know much, is what he's saying. What can you tell me about voodoo? It sounds as though you have learned much during your investigation in New Orleans. Perhaps you will fill me in when we have a chance to sit down and talk. He probably doesn't know much about the voodoo murders, or maybe he does. Let's what see. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I only know what you have told me. They seem to be very similar to the killings in Gunther's journal. Good Gunther. Gunther. So he's not going to know much about New Orleans. Uh, probably not much about St. John's. Or maybe he does because what can of that. You tell me about St. John's. His history with it. I'm afraid I've never heard of it. Never mind. He knows jack crap. Which means he doesn't need to know about Cabri Saint Cor. Veve. Maybe he knows about Ugumbadagri. Does mean anything to you? It is a voodoo loa, is it not? Yes. A particularly nasty one, so I understand. Have you come across anything about it in your research? He seems to be feared by most voodoo groups. That's all I know. So you probably won't know much about Rada drums. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? No, I'm afraid not. Okay, there's not going to be as much talking as I thought there was going to be. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Dambala is a snake. He, he is a Loa, a voodoo god. Yes, he's one of the primary Loa of the Getty tribe. Good work. That information might prove useful. But maybe not. Most likely not. I mean, I don't know. 
It's up to you, not me. You're the main character of this game. Um... Tell me about yourself. I hope there will be time for that later, Gabriel. After this is all over, for now, we must deal with the matter at hand. Well, you are boring, sir. You are very boring. Now, tell me you're playing Do you Rada know drums. Anything about Rada drums? Rada drums? You mean ceremonial drums? Yes. The Getty tribe uses drummers around the corner as relay messengers to keep track of their business. Ah, so strums have a ceremonial use too. It would be useful to know their code, Gabriel. I had Grace find some information on them. I can see you already have the mind of an investigator. I hope it serves you well. But why? But what do I need with the mind of an investigator? I just do what the cops don't do. I mean, it's not really much investigating as, I don't know, not being lazy. Well, let's find out what who good old Titolo is. Tell me about Titolo. Well, from your description of the ritual last night, I'd say that Gunther's mistress, Tetelo, is now the primary Loa for the Getty tribe. It seems she still controls them by possessing her female descendants and speaking through them. You remember in Gunther's journal he said that Tetelo was possessed by her father's Loa during the killings in Charleston. This sounds similar. But Tetelo has obviously become a much more powerful Lova than her father ever was. Probably because of the added power of the Talisman. The Talisman, it has power. Absolute power. Man, well, let's talk about the Talisman. Or let's talk more about Tetelo. Is there anything else you can tell me about Tetelo? Tetelo. I believe she truly loved Gunther. After all, she was raised to be her father's daughter. The religion was not a choice she made, but a duty she endured. How can she be blamed for that? The spirit that she has become, that is a different matter. It is utterly evil. I am certain that the lower Tetelo bears little resemblance to the woman she was before the burning in Charleston. She was once a beautiful and intelligent woman, and she probably did not deserve Gunther's betrayal. But the Tetelo we fight now is more akin to her tribe's dark gods than to anything human in nature. Hell have no fury, you know. And I guess burning a woman would kind of make the whole, you know, scorn thing pretty pretty high up on the priority list so let's ask about the talisman now and see what we can learn from it let's talk about the talisman I myself have only seen it in old sketches and paintings and in my dreams it was in the family for centuries before Tetelo took it it is believed to be as old as the role of Schottenjäger itself the talisman has genuine power. I don't know how or why, but it is so. The Schottenjäger swore to use the power for good, never for evil. For defense, not offense. We've been searching for the talisman for years. It's a terrible thing to know that something powerful that was entrusted to us is in the wrong hands. With the talisman, Tetelo has all the power and we none. The only possible way to fight her is to regain the talisman. Then we will at least be on more equal footing. If you remember in the last episode, uh, when Gabriel was at the ceremony, or the hound for, Tetelo did say, you're, you're, like, something, how are you without your talisman, or whatever. So, <laughs> she was, so she knows about it, because I think she was the one who has it somewhere hidden, or it's somewhere lost. I kind of forget. It's been a few days since I've recorded last. How can we regain the talisman? The talisman is probably buried yeah, in those remains. That's what gives her Loa so much power. 
To find the talisman, we must find her remains. Is there anything else you can tell me about the talisman? The most important thing about the talisman is that it be once again in the hands of the Schottenjägers. And speaking of Schottenjäger... What can you tell me about Schottenjägers? Of course, I sometimes forget how little you know of the family, Gabriel. I never understood how Heinz could allow his sons to remain ignorant. But now is not the time for that discussion. Schottenjäger is really two words in English, Gabriel. Schotten means shadow, and Jäger means hunter. Shadow hunter? Yes, Shadow Hunter. The Ritters have been shot in Jaegers for many centuries. No one is sure when it began or how, but we have records of ancestors as early as the 13th century fulfilling this role. Some believe that the role was given us when... Ah, but such fantasies cannot be of use to you at the moment, Gabriel. Most people are completely blind to the fact that evil does exist. Shadows of darkness, spirits, vampires, witches, demons, these things are real. It is to their advantage that the world has become so scientific, so cynical. But we know they exist, Gabriel, and we hunt them. How do we hunt them? And why? Why? Because it is our duty. As for how, that is something you will have to learn, but it's not easily explained over the phone. So, Gabriel comes from a line of shadow hunters, or basically, he's like one half of the supernatural gang, technically, I guess. <laughs> he likes to fight evil, and, you know, he has all them super duper powers. But now we need to learn about T T Tetelo's remain. I keep wanting to say Tetelo, because it just sounds better than whatever. How would we find Tetelo's remains? Ah, we have pondered that question a long time, we Ritters. There are two probabilities. The first is that her remains are with the tribe in New Orleans. The other is that the remains were returned to a sacred place near the tribe's original homeland. We've tried to locate Tetelo's African homeland, but Gunther says so little in his journal about her tribe. And slaving records are practically non-existent. As for the other idea, we had no clue that Tetelo's people were in New Orleans until now. How would we find Tetelo's remains again? Oh, I thought he was going to say we something must else. Locate the tribe's original African homeland. Her remains might be there, or so it's either at the, in the African homeland for their people, or somewhere here in New Orleans where we can find the remains and hopefully the talisman. But what do we know about the African homeland? Let's discuss the possible African homeland. Have you learned anything that might help us locate it? No, I have not. I spoke with the Professor Hartridge. Oh, never mind, we spoke to the dead guy. He thinks the tribe's name was Agri, and that they live near the Fawn tribe in what's now called the People's Republic of Benin. This is incredible, Gabriel. I must go research this new information in my library right now. Wait, what should I do? Stay low. If you get a chance, you might look into the possibility that Tetelo's remains are somewhere in New Orleans. But don't try to broach their private areas without my assistance, Gabriel. You will make a fine shot in Jaeger, but only if you are not dead. Um, sure. I'll wait. Goodbye, then, Gabriel. And remember, if you need a place of safety, come to Schloss Ritter. Bring ding, bring ding. So that was that was Uncle, uh, good old Uncle, our our Uncle guy. He's a friendly dude. But now we need to get on with a little bit of more looking up and researching stuff on our part. But first, 
Let's see if the newspaper says if we're dead or not. We may be dead. Who knows? Times dated June 24th, 1993. There's nothing about the voodoo murder case in the paper today. Gabriel finds a humorous tidbit under the Life is Stranger Than Fiction column. Apparently, there were reports of ghosts in the Bayou St. John last night. Various people called the newspaper with stories about hearing strange noises and seeing weird lights over the swamp. Some folks claim it's a ghost of Marie Laveau. The paper relates it to similar delusions that crop up every Halloween. Gabriel knows better. Gabriel's horoscope today reads, Wise is the warrior who knows when to fight and when to get the hell out of Dodge. God help me, I'm actually starting to listen to this guy. <laughs> Hey, the horoscope's been not wrong so far. You get the hell out when you need to get out. Hmm. Oh, let's see if Grace has anything new for us today. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Um... Nah, just the usual blah 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 that nobody matters about. So I guess we are going to take hmm, nothing really directs us where to go next. But we need to figure out if the body is here in New Orleans or in the African homeland, so we might as well go to the one place we know I'm going out for a bit. where we can find that out, maybe. And that is the cemetery. Hey there, buddy. I'm just gonna go this way. No biggie. Yeah, we're at the Getty Tomb. Hey, wait a minute. That's open. There's a small marble plate near the tomb doors. The plate is up. Beneath the plate is a button. Yeah, that wasn't up before. Huh. Well, you know is what we do. We might as well just go ahead and hit the button. Because we're extra curious. Gabriel Hughes, the faint sound of breaking glass. What? Well, it's damn. You'd think they'd be alive. You would. And. I think we have a light. Do we? Do we have a light? Uh, we have the flashlight. Uh, can I, can I turn it on? Hello? Uh, there we go. Aha! We have a button and I have a thing. Woo! Ew, those are bones. That's not good. Let's look around and see what we got. Do we have a Titilo Getty? Eh. Doesn't look like it. Crip draws line the back wall. Wait, what's this one? The plaque under draw has an etching of the Veve on it, but no name. Ooh. Ooh. We open it. 
The drawer is locked. Well, damn. Well, that was weird. It reflects. Actually, it's... I don't know. What's this? This wall is covered with decorated skulls. An ossuary shrine to some of the Getty ancestors. <laughs> I hope no one ever builds me a shrine like that. It'll just be of, like... Playboys and stuff. Thing is, though, is there's more to that than meets the eye. I think I know what happened to the men in the family now. Huh. Some of these look loose. And now... We have a puzzle. We have a gem puzzle. And if you look here, we have a cross symbol. And if you look here, we have a cross symbol. So... We take them out. So we have to push them in the right order. And the thing is, is this is... You got the whole... When... It's like the Catholic thing. When they do the whole cross. They go up, down then left to right but I think the middle one or they or they stop here but it goes here here there and then middle hey one of the drawers popped open well I guess we need to go ahead and check out the drawer because why not I mean, what's... What's what's gonna harm us? Nothing, right? Nothing. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Mosley. Shit, I dropped my flashlight. Well, pick it up, game. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. What the hell was that? So mostly was in the drawer. And then we got knocked out. So someone else was in here. Um... Let's open it up. Can we open it up or is it locked again? Ah, it's open. Let's see if we can help our buddy. Mosley's body is gone. That's not weird, but there's a wallet. There's a wallet in the drawer. It must have fallen from Mosley's jacket when the body was moved. Perhaps Gabriel should pick it up first. Maybe you should pick it up first, voice. So let's pick up... And let's pick up the Mosley's wallet and let's take a look at it real quick. Gabriel opens the wallet and finds some ID belonging to Mosley and an American's repressed card. The <laughs> good old American repressed card. Uh... But that's all we can do here. Actually, I want to see if I can take a look at it. No, I can't look at it closer. That would have been great. Well, that's all we can do here, so let's go ahead and get out. I don't know why the door just wouldn't stay open and you couldn't just use the light from the day. But that's just me. Uh, where's the exit? There it is. So we need to head back to St. George's books. There's nothing else really, but day seven's like Where one of the sh been? I was worried about you. Shorter For days. Reason, apparently. What happened? Do you need a doctor? Nothing you want to know about, and no, you're some aspirin. Gabriel, this is nuts. You have to get out of New Orleans. 
No kidding. Well, listen, Wolfgang called while you were out. He said, and I quote, Tell Gabriel that I found what I was looking for. It's time for me to do my duty. Schloss Ritter is his now. Now call me crazy, but I don't think that's good news. Not for Uncle Wolfie, no. What are you gonna do? If I figure it out, I'll let you know. Well, maybe, maybe Grace is right. Maybe it's time that we take a break and go relax. Find the, the finer things in life. The more scenic things to do. So... I have a number for a travel agent on that phone book page if I need to call them. Well, what do you know about that? We do. Didn't Grace say you had to dial 011 first to get international? Well, we're not dialing international driving. See the World Travel Agency, which is 555-0113. Hello, see the World Travel Agency. How may I help you? Yeah, I need to go to Rittersburg, please. How much for a trip to Rittersburg, Germany? Rittersburg, Germany. Hold on, let me look that up. I can fly you into Munich. That's the closest airport to Rittersburg. You can rent a car from there or take the train. Let's see. The best price I can see for the flight is $1,400. Damn! What would you like to do? Well... <laughs> Mosley's dead, so he's not going to mind if we repress him a little bit, right? You know, just the repressed uh, with his American repressed card. Charge it to my Americans repressed. Americans yes, sir. repressed. Yes, your name was? Mosley. Feeling a little guilty, Gabriel gives the travel agent Mosley's card number and is informed that he can pick up his tickets at the Norlands International Airport. The good old Nolens International Airport. And so I guess we may as well go there. We've got our... We're, do we need to pack anything? Dirty clothes? Well, no. There's just white shirts. Probably more pants. You know. Some clean undies. But, uh, see you later, Grace. Can I talk to you before I leave? Be gone for quite a while. Not a minute, right? What's up? I'm leaving you. I'm going to Germany, so bye bye now. Bye bye. Guess what? I'm going to Germany. Really? That's great. But how on earth can you afford. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Oh my god. I wouldn't like the sound of that even if you were a man. But, um, tsh. I'll miss you too, Grace. Anything else? I'm really going, Grace. I really hope you'll be safe, Gabriel. That's it. All right, then. Well, it was good talking to you. You keep the lights on and don't go through my stuff. Don't panty raid my drawer. I'm going to go to Germany. Oktoberfest. Hooray. Goodbye, Gracie. Good luck. Let me know what's going on, will you? Of course. Are you going to be okay here by yourself? I'll be fine. Just fix this, okay? I'm trying, Gracie. Gracie actually knows Krav Maga, so she's fine. You know, she's just, she can just back drop kick, rabbit punch and stuff like that. It's, it's fine. She's good. But we need to go take the big old Gabriel airport thingy to the thingy maneuver. The airport and boards a plane for Munich. Oh, it's loud! Why loud cutscene for loud things such as that? It makes no sense. Wolfgang? Hello, my name is Nye. Gabriel Nye. Herr Knight? Oh, kommen Sie bitte herein. I mean, come in, please, Herr Knight. I was not expecting you. Has Wolfgang sent you here? Uncle Wolfgang? No, I came to see him. Isn't he here? 
No, he is gone. I'm sorry. You came all this way. No, oh, great. That's all I need. Herr Knight, Wolfgang told me all about you and gave me instructions for you to feel welcome here. Please, this is your home. You are a Ritter, no? I'm just doing some work. I will continue and you may make yourself comfortable. If there's anything you need, please ask me. You may use Wolfgang's bedroom. It is at the top of the stairs. Thank you, miss. You may call me Gerda, Herr Knight. Well, thank you, Gerdy. You're, you're a really nice lady. I like you. You're a friend. And we're gonna watch you just sit down, aren't we? There we go. And then there's Gerdy. Let's see what the little look thing has to say. Gerda is fresh-faced and quite attractive. Of course she is. Well, now that we're here at Schloss Ritter, the question is, what do we do now? Where do we go? And what will we find out? And those pillars look really cracked, and are they going to fall down and crush us all? We'll find out next time, friends, on Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Till then, y'all take care, and of course, have a good one.